Tisztelt parlamenti képviselők, tisztelt miniszter urak és hölgyek, hölgyeim és uraim, óriási öröm és megtiszteltetés számomra, hogy részt vehetek a budapesti demográfiai. Immigration and aging have been very evident in Latvia. In this situation, together with budgetary constraints, demography and family policy are very complicated areas of the government of work. It is also difficult to balance support for younger and older generation and to ensure decent living for all. The quality of life is important for everyone, young and old. In Latvia, retired people are at the highest risk of poverty. And this is my priority to improve the well-being of retired people. Within the next year's budgetary process, we aim to considerably increase the minimum pensions. It has not been done for years. And in my view, the existing situation is unacceptable. Of course, uh, this measure will not do nothing to improve the demographic situation. However, we need mutual respect and solidarity between generations in this reality of aging population. Previously, Latvia has paid a lot of attention to ensure that parents with small children are financially well protected while caring for children after birth up to the age of one and a half years. At that age, public or private kindergartens provide child care and parents uh, can return to work. Apart from this initial support in the form of maternity, paternity and parental benefits, as well as childbirth, allowance and families with children receive a universal family state benefit. It among depends on number of children in the family but is still is rather low. I see that this financial support system in Latvia should be improved to offer more focused state support for families with children and to actually increase birth rates. The family state benefit systems need changes to increase the intensity of support of families taking care of more children. We also need significant improvements in the systems that protect the rights of the best interest of child. Every child is important, and children left without parental care need special support. In Latvia, we are constantly improving financial support for foster families, adopters, and guardians. They are new types of foster families for crisis, emergency situations, and for children with severe disabilities. We see the positive results of these measures. The number of children placed in residential institutions decrease but the pace, in my opinion, is slow. It is critical that all that involved institutions work much better together to ensure that children live in a family environment. We have recently set up a working group that will prepare a new model for more efficient protection of children's rights in Latvia. I am fully committed of these vital reforms in Latvia's 
family policy. And for this re reason today, I want to listen more than talk. I really look forward to hearing evidence based on good practice examples from other countries on family support and the protection of children's rights. Thank you so much. Okay.